right welcome back to chat with Dessa, guys on today's video we are going to be talking about easy properties and how it works some of you might still be a little like uh how does this work i'm going to simplify that for you guys and also show you the properties that i have invested in how much what the value is of those properties and how much have you know received in dividends so far and just understanding the long-term effect of this type of uh, property investing and how you can also get a foot in the door you know to something that is much bigger and you feel like oh i can't afford it but here's a platform that allows me to put in my coins as well so stay tuned like subscribe comment and follow financial chats underscore tessa on instagram thank you nakenza have you ever looked at a big building well i used to when i used to work at the malls in santon four ways or just like in johannesburg driving to work well not driving i was in a taxi but i used to look at those tall buildings and i used to think to myself yo wow whoever owns that has a lot of money and when i used to see the construction i'm like damn it's a lot of money already it's a lot of money to build a house imagine those buildings who owns them is it the government is it the president is it bill gates who owns all the buildings in johannesburg i'm just kidding but i used to think about that i'm like who owns it and then as i matured in terms of understanding money i was like oh so rich people that have a lot of money come together and then they invest in this particular property and they erect it up into the sky and uh people will either rent that space as office space or people will live there because it's apartments and i'm like wow those people must have a lot of money and they must be making a lot of money i wish i were them <laughs> and i wish at least if i knew them or i knew about the investment i'd be like hey guys yeah nami mpeti 100 rand ne nyafuna ukuthi invest in this thing hey nami nami khome 100 rand the translation i also have 100 bucks can i also uh, be in this building and investment erection of this building up into the sky and you know when you start having tenants maybe i can get a portion of the profits based on my 100 that i was able to put in or my 20000 rands you know i was like i wish i knew them but i'm like mm, i don't i don't even know what where do they live where would i bump into them to start you know talking to them and saying hey guys can i also be in this investment with you guys you know but thank goodness for a platform like easy properties and it's a same feeling as like investing in shares we used to think that it's like well not only think but it was actually like that where the rich people that had a lot of money and had financial advisors that knew about all these new investments and all of that were the ones that were um what I really had this year so i was like okay easy properties has launched just like easy equities where i felt like well all these rich people that have invested in these companies um how do i begin to invest in a company uh and put my little bit of money and buy a share unless i have like this financial advisor that has this information or pay like serious hectic financial advisory fees and all of that and then easy equities came and saved us and i was like yes we can also invest diy investing excellent now with easy properties i still felt the same i was like um these big buildings i wish i knew these people i wish i had the connection and said guys you know take a portion of my money too and then we can invest together i put in 20000 yeah you put in 20 million but i only have 20000 okay um but when the profits profits come y'all can give me a cut based on my investment but i'm like i, I ain't got no friends like that i ain't got no connections like who Where, where, where are we going to find people like that? Who? Wow. And no, they're not going to be interested in my 20,000. So, easy properties 
just like easy equities gives us that opportunity to invest um, money money and put money into companies that we want to invest in easy properties allows us to invest in property as well so instead of you instead of like me like I, I told you how I used to think right I'm seeing these apartment buildings I'm seeing these big buildings I'm like I will, when, when will I have the money to, to own something like that to have something like that I'm not saying you're going to own it on easy equities or easy properties no 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 but now you have the opportunity to invest in it to get a cut in it to get a piece out of cake to invest in something that you know maybe the top dogs who have millions would only be investing in so now we also get that chance and i'm like hooray <laughs> so um the first ipo that was out i invested i was like i'm putting money in there second ipo i'm putting money in there third ipo i'm putting money in there I think so far there have been five or six IPOs and an IPO is like an initial public offering where they say to the public, right, we have identified this type of property that we're going to put on the platform, uh, on this particular building or whatever. Uh, we are buying eight units, right? So when you see those apartment buildings or you see those office buildings, sometimes they're not only owned by one person, but they're owned by different um property companies or different individuals right so they're like okay we are going to buy eight units and this is how much it's going to cost so we want you guys to invest in this with us right and then we now raise this money so you click okay i want to invest and then you only have 10 rand i have ten thousand. Somebody else has 15,000, somebody else has 50,000, somebody else has 1 million, somebody else has 20 rand. We all put it together. Okay, now we come up with the money for these eight units. Maybe these eight units are worth 9 million and that's the type of money Easy Properties is trying to raise. So then when that 9 million is there, tang us here, tang I get. And then people move in. Okay, but it does take time. I've bought a property before and I know how long it takes. If you haven't bought property before, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes months, like it can take up to three to four months, depending on the backlog and deeds office things and all sorts of things involved. But just know that it doesn't happen overnight. So then now when people are paying rent, right? and um minus all other costs involved with maintaining tenants and maintaining property we as the investors will get a dividend quarterly right and we will also have an appreciation in share price based on market evaluation now let me explain this right so this i put in x amount right 10,000 right you put in 1 million right so when we get a dividend payout you're gonna get more than me because of how much I invested so if now you invested like 10 bucks your portion of what was made from rental income that dividend portion will be worth 10 bucks right that's how it works so then with the market evaluation part of things, right? So here's a property here in Bromfontein. I'm just using Bromfontein as an example because that's one of the uh, locations where Easy Properties has investment property that was bought through people that invested money to buy it, right? So uh, here in Bromfontein, there's a lot of development. Uh, there are lots of universities and colleges uh, there's a high demand when it comes to rentals. Um, the area is developing. It's looking good. People want to live here. People are willing to pay a higher amount for apartments or houses or whatever. And the value increases. The property value increases. So how much are people selling their properties for? What are people willing to pay for a property in Bromfontein? All of that. Now, all of that over time will either increase 
or decrease the value of a property. Now, easy properties, when they do look for properties for us to invest in and raise that money and invest in it, they do consider these things. Okay, in the future, do they see this area developing? Will the um, property value increase over time? And when it increases, what does this mean for your share in that investment? It means that it will also increase in value. Okay, but this takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. This is very different to when you are now investing in shares and you choose tomorrow. I can't stand this. I'm selling my shares. Mm -mm. With easy properties, it's not the case. You really need to be in it for the long term, like five years. Right? After five years, we get to a point where a decision needs to be made. Hurry. Does the property get sold and everybody gets their cut out of it? Uh, do you sell your shares? Um, there are three voting options that will be available for everyone that invested in that property at that end of five years. And this is on their website. You can go and check it out and see what the three voting options are. All right. And um, I invested in those properties and I see how the growth there on easy properties versus the growth on easy equities on shares and all of that is different because easy properties i need to be very patient and i will see the value in the long run so if you're a person who's not going to be patient who wants to see the money overnight who wants to see money being made overnight mm -mm. it's it's you, you you're gonna need to change that mindset if you want to invest in property in this way unless buy an apartment buy a house rent it out keep people in there and get the money directly every day, every month in your bank account. When there's maintenance problems, it's on you. Water and light, it's on you. Everything regarding the property, even though there are people renting there, you are the landlord. You need to ensure that your tenants are taken care of. Any issues that they have, it's on you. I know that. Well, my mom tells me because she's the one managing my our property i'd like to i would like to call it our property right she's the one managing our property my parents are managing it so they tell me i'm, I'm not experiencing it but this way with easy properties is one way for you to also invest in property without having to buy the whole thing and be like i don't have the money i don't even qualify at the bank but i want to cut in that and i've got 5k 2k 100 50 bucks but just know Hore, the less your contribution to this bigger uh property investment the when when the profits come in that means you also get you know according to what you put in i think you guys get that now right now you get how easy properties works and as promised here are the properties that i have invested in on easy properties the purchase value the rental dividend yield and the value of the property based on the um, evaluations that have been done on the properties and the area and every other thing that i did mention already this current property um, this last one is still pending and that's because it was a recent one the ipo is still open and um it will only be under my investments once the whole process is complete and i only invested 103 rands mm -hmm. ran out of money <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in with me today and i hope that this was helpful follow um financial chats underscore this are on instagram and send through any questions that you might still have i do do some q and a's every now and then and yeah share the video like comment and subscribe bye thank you no cancer